What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Trud's Barbecue. My name is Bradley Robinson and today I'm gonna show you how I made these beautiful, delicious, smoky, bacon wrapped buffalo chicken armadillo eggs. Coming up! Thank you Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. Summer is over, it's officially fall, and football season is in full swing. And here in Texas, whenever we're talking about football foods, one of the first things you're gonna hear about is the armadillo egg. And essentially, an armadillo egg is a jalapeno stuffed with cream cheese, wrapped with breakfast sausage, then wrapped with bacon, hit with a barbecue rub, and then smoked to perfection. And it really is a great barbecue snack to enjoy during a football game. And there are plenty of videos on YouTube showing you how to make the traditional armadillo egg. So today we're gonna try something a little bit different. That's right folks, we're making a buffalo chicken armadillo egg, and it is going to be delicious. This is some chicken. Pat it dry. What I got here is two pounds of some chicken breast and two pounds of some chicken thighs. The thighs are great because they're a lot fattier and have a lot more flavor and will make for a tastier sausage, but they can be a bit slimy. And I worry that a completely thigh based sausage might be a little bit hard to wrap around some jalapenos. So that's why we're including some breast meat as well. Help improve the texture. And if I was making an actual chicken sausage, I would probably go through and throw in some chicken skin or some pork fat or something to help bump up the fat content. But because we're not really looking for a nice plump snappy link and the fact that this is gonna be wrapped in bacon I think we'll be just fine using breast and thigh meat. Ooh, someone left a little bone in this one. Glad I caught that. And into my freezer this goes for the next little bit to get nice and cold. Spices for our sausage include some kosher salt, granulated garlic, black pepper, paprika, some cayenne, and some milk powder for our binder. Just get that all nice and mixed up. <sighs> you know the drill from here folks. Beautiful. And then we go with our spices. Just keep mixing until it's nice and tacky. Also gonna go in with a little bit of water. Ooh, this is cold. And just like that, our beautiful chicken sausage is done. So now I'm gonna pop this into my fridge to take a nice little nap. Speaking of which, this video is brought to you by Helix Sleep. As I'm sure you've noticed, a lot of my videos take a long time to shoot, oftentimes extending deep into the night. And as soon as the camera is off and all the dishes are done, I am ready to crash. And lately I've been getting the best sleep of my life thanks to my new mattress from Helix. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that that are customized to fit your needs and are conveniently delivered right to your door. And I don't know if you've ever tried to pick up a King mattress from a store, but it is a pain. They are gigantic. So the fact that Helix ships right to your door in a reasonable sized box makes the process of getting a new mattress incredibly convenient. And it's also really fun to watch it blow up. All you need to do is open the plastic, let some air in, and the mattress will quickly be back to normal size. When it comes to mattress preference, everyone is different and Helix knows this. So they made a sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preferences to make the perfect mattress for you. Brooke and I took the quiz to make sure that we're both happy and based on our results, we were matched with the Helix Dusk Luxe King Size Mattress, and I opted for the Glacio Cooling Cover, which works really well and helped keep us from overheating all summer long. And I must say, this is the best mattress I have ever had. Over the past few months of having it, I've been waking up with less back pain and having slept soundly through the night. And even though I'm a back sleeper and she's a side sleeper, because we took the quiz together, the mattress works perfectly for both of us. I love my Helix, and I think you will too. And if you're looking for a new bed, click the link in the description box of this video, taking you to helixsleep.com slash chudsbbq for up to $200 off your Helix Sleep mattress plus two free pillows. Again, link in the description, that's helixsleep.com slash chudsbbq for up to $200 off your mattress plus two free pillows. And with your mattress, you'll get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty. And there's also financing options available with flexible payments. Thank you, Helix. For our cream cheese filling, I've got four blocks of Philadelphia's finest right out of the fridge that we're gonna pop on the smoker to soften up a little bit. But first, we're gonna season it with some of this stuff. A little Frank's Red Hot Seasoning Blend. Sounds like a good idea to me. Oh yeah, not the best shaker in the world. Beautiful. And yeah, I'm gonna forget the sides. Feeling lazy today. And on the pit we go. I'm gonna rock this around 250 for a little bit till it's nice and smoky and nice and softened. And now it's time to get our jalapenos ready. Just taking the top off, and then I got this little apple core thing. Not sure why I bought it, but I've had it for a while. Never used it, and I think it should work out great for getting all the seeds out of these guys. 
I know they may, oh, look at that. That was very effective. I know they make something similar that is designed specifically for jalapenos, but whatever you got will work. And you can always just get in there with a paring knife or a boning knife or something, if you don't want to buy a specific tool. Turns out these little tweezers are also great for just kind of pulling everything out. Get all those ribs and seeds. And there we go, some beautiful cored out jalapenos that you could pretty much stuff anything in. After about 30, 45 minutes, these are nicely softened and coming off the pit. Got some decent smoke on there. Again, I'm not really trying to make these super smoky. Mostly just trying to make them soft, so it's easier to work with. So into a bowl they go. Yoink. Oh goodness. Look at that shmi. Ooh. And that's part of the reason why I didn't load this thing up with that seasoning is because we can always add more right now as we see fit. Next up, I'm also going in with some blue cheese crumbles because why not? Sounds good to me. Oh yeah. I'll just get it all mixed up. Go on with a little more of our Frank's Red Hot Powder. Mmm. That is some tasty stuff. You can just pop this in a bowl and call it a dip right now. Next up, into a piping bag we go. And these piping bags are super handy to have around. Pick them up at a restaurant supply store, or of course you can get them online. Or you could also just do this in a plastic Ziploc bag and cut the corner off, but this is gonna make it super easy. Snip the tip. Oh goodness. Mm, that is unbelievable. Very tasty stuff. And you know the drill from here, folks. Just gonna get these all nicely piped up. Boop. This is kind of fun. In hindsight, I made way too much of this cream cheese filling here, and I'm not mad about it. I'll be putting this on toast points for the rest of the night. Beautiful. I'm gonna pop these in the freezer for a little bit just to firm up that cream cheese so it doesn't ooze out while we wrap these things in sausage. All right, folks, let's assemble these puppies, shall we? That looks like a good guy. Not sure how much of this stuff to use, so we're just gonna wing it. Get ourselves a nice little chicken patty. Pop our little pino right in the middle, and we're just gonna kind of work this all the way around. And there we go, nothing to it. Next up, bacon. You gotta get the thin cut stuff, folks, just your standard bacon. Pretty much any time you're gonna be wrapping something in bacon, you wanna use the thin stuff, because we want this stuff to get nice and crispy, and the thick cut stuff can just kind of get rubbery. But then again, you do you. I also like the thin stuff because it's got a bit of a stretch to it, which makes wrapping things a lot easier. All right, that's a singular piece. Can we get away with two? I think we ought to try. And there it is, my first armadillo egg ever made. Let's repeat. Press it out. It does kind of make me think though, what other variations of armadillo eggs you could make, you know? A nice spicy beef sausage, different types of flavored cream cheese on the inside. Oh yeah, I do like the way that looks. That'd be good just by itself. But of course, we have to wrap it in bacon. Do you know what'd be really cool? My jalapeno popper sausage wrapped around a jalapeno popper. Love it. All right, I'm gonna finish the rest of these up. Looking good. All we need to do now is hit them with a little bit of barbecue rub, as if this didn't have enough flavor already, folks, come on. And of course, I'm going on with some trusty chud rub. I think the nice black pepper contrast on this bacon is gonna look lovely. It tastes amazing, obviously. And don't forget the undersides, come on. This would also be a great time for some spicy rub. Yoink. Leave it to Texas to come up with the most gluttonous thing. On the pit we go. All righty, we're rocking around 300 degrees, so we'll check back in on these in a little bit. All right, it's been about an hour and a half. Let's check in on these. Ooh, looking real nice. Had a couple of cheese explosions. This guy right here is the one I've been probing, so that's why there's extra cheese coming out of that one. But these are looking great. They're right around 165 degrees internal, which is where we want to be because it's a chicken sausage after all. So at this point with a traditional armadillo egg, you would go on and paint on some barbecue sauce, but uh, because these are buffalo chicken armadillo eggs, I'm going on with some buffalo sauce with my classic squirt bottle inserted technique. We're just gonna spray these. Nice and easy, real quick. Oh, look at the color on that already. Love it. Does bum me out though, because I just cleaned this pit and now there's cream cheese and bacon drippings everywhere. But hey, name of the game, right? And also, if you get this big boy bottle of buffalo sauce, this thing actually screws right onto the top. Super convenient. All right, those are looking great. We're gonna let that sauce kind of cook on for another 10, 15, then we'll pull them off. And just like that, off the pit, these beauties come. Looking good to me. Ow. We're gonna let these cool down for a little bit and then we'll slice on in. All right, let's see how this thing came out. But first, just look at it. It really does look like a little egg. Pretty cool. Bacon's nice and crispy. Oh, nice and juicy. Sausage cooked up real well. I bet if I pulled that jalapeno out, this thing would look real weird. Very excited about that. Should we do one lengthwise for no reason at all? Oh, there it is. Yup, that's what the inside of an armadillo egg looks like. God, it smells so good out here. I mean, would you just look at it, folks? Because what is not to like about that? All right, I gotta dive in. It's so cute. Let's start out with a couple of slices, shall we? Ooh. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, that is lovely. So many different flavors going on. You start out with the bacon, then you get into the spicy chicken sausage, then you hit the jalapeno, and lastly, you're greeted with that super creamy blue cheese, cream cheese, smoky concoction. Ah, oh, gotta love that. Oh, ah, mm. oh that's so good. Honestly, that's a very pleasant bite. You know, it seems like a super rich food with cream cheese stuffed inside of a jalapeno, wrapped in sausage, wrapped in bacon, then smoked. But there's something so clean about a chicken sausage. You know, it's not nearly as heavy as like a beef or pork sausage that you're used to. It's really not all that heavily spiced. It's not that fatty. So the addition of the bacon and the cream cheese in there really kind of complements the, the lean sausage and it works out very well. Mm, it's so good. Somehow it could use more heat. It's pretty mild. Even though I put a bunch of cayenne in that sausage, a bunch of red hot powder into that cream cheese and then doused it in buffalo sauce. It's still pretty mild. Ooh, a little jalapeno this end. Mm, mm, mm. Honestly, that'd be a good recipe on its own. Dip filled sausage balls wrapped in bacon. And just the presentation factor on these is pretty spectacular, you know? Put a little pile of these out for everyone to nibble on. People are like, what is that? I wanna eat that. Mm -hmm. That was a big bite. Oh, so juicy. Don't mind if I do. It's like a little barbecue butthole. Very cool looking. Ooh, ooh. That one was a lot hotter for some reason, temperature wise. It's just the essence of football food. You know, it's jalapenos, it's cream cheese, it's spicy, it's bacon wrapped, it's smoked. It's like a jalapeno popper and a chicken wing in perfect marriage. But without further ado, I think it's time for the official taste test. I'm gonna knock this jalapeno and cream cheese out of there just to be safe. All right, y'all, and that is it. That is how to make some absolutely fantastic buffalo chicken bacon wrapped armadillo eggs. I highly recommend giving this one a try. It really was a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I'm not sure why. All those ingredients sound fantastic, so when you put them all together, it's gonna be great. And probably the best move would be to spend an afternoon knocking out a whole bunch of these, and as soon as they're bacon wrapped, pop them in some vac seal bags and freeze them, and then pull them out whenever football day rolls around. But that being said, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that subscribe button. Let YouTube know by dropping a like on this video. If you give these a try for yourself, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chud's Barbecue. I love to see what y'all are cooking. Feel free to drop a comment down below letting me know what you want to see me cook next. Big shout out to all the Patreon members. Thank you for supporting Team Chud and allowing me to keep making all these videos. And until the next time I see you, please go cook something outside. Peace.